Hi, Chris Heger, Guns.com. We're at the Pima Air and Space Museum, Tucson, Arizona. When you think about World War II, especially the air war in Europe, think about the B-17 Flying Fortress. It's the reason why they called it the Flying Fortress. When it was first introduced in the early 1940s, only had five uh, 30 caliber machine guns, usually in plexiglass blister mounts. 30 caliber, while 30-06 is a great deer round, when you're talking about trying to shoot down another aircraft flying next to you, trying to shoot you down, it's really no bueno. Uh, so they started adding more guns, more 50s. This is a, a G model, the B-17G. This was pretty much the penultimate uh, B-17 Flying Fortress. You've got a baker's dozen uh, 50 caliber machine guns, 13 different 50 caliber machine guns. A favorite German Luftwaffe tactic was to come in head on because they figured that was the smallest cone of danger to attack a uh, B-17. So during the war, you can see the Air Force started adding more and more guns to those chins. This one had a full chin turret as well as two 50s off to the side. You've also got another turret up top. You've got a Sperry ball turret underneath. You've got tail guns in the back. Plus you've got a gunner on the port and starboard sides ready to go with flexible mounts. Altogether, they carried more than 7,000 rounds of 50 caliber ammunition and often returned with none of it left. 